escape from Sudan for a lucky few. Young and old, helped onto a French evacuation flight. With the capital under fire, this is one of the only routes out, and it's still high risk. Diplomats and their families given priority. The UK also in action. We have taken the decision to uh, temporarily close the British Embassy in Khartoum to evacuate the British diplomats and their dependents and relocate our diplomatic functions into a nearby diplomatic post. Sky News can reveal details about the covert British rescue operation. Under the cover of darkness, an elite group of UK troops flew into Khartoum late on Saturday on an American military aircraft that was separately evacuating US officials. It's understood the British soldiers acquired a number of local vehicles and drove towards the area where the UK embassy is located. The troops met with the evacuation party of around 30 people and prepared for the extraction. In tandem, two Royal Air Force transport planes, a C-130 Hercules and an A-400M, had taken off from RAF Akrotiri, a British base in Cyprus. The aircraft, with permission from the Sudanese military, landed on a Sudanese airfield, Wadi Saida, about 30 kilometres north of Khartoum, at around 1am on Sunday morning UK time. A window opened of relative calm to allow the soldiers on the ground to drive their passengers to the airfield. The diplomats and families boarded the aircraft and the two British planes took off at around 9am UK time and headed back to Cyprus. Sky News then filmed a coach driving from the base with a number of those who'd been rescued. But this place remains a war zone and the successful mission will be slim comfort for the British nationals still stranded. What I need most is to hear that there is a plane somewhere outside of Sudan. That plane will come swooping in. We'll get a message saying, get to this point, and then we'll get on the plane and we'll fly home. The UK insists it's not abandoning anyone that can offer better support from outside the country. The safety and protection of uh, British nationals in Sudan remains a priority for us, a top priority for us. At the British airbase in Cyprus, it's thought that troops and planes remain on standby. More than 1,200 military personnel were involved in this week's evacuation. The first, but possibly not the last, such mission.